Did you choose Hokkaido because your girlfriend is from there, or like, what, you, you say like Hokkaido's awesome and the weather, the food, the people, etc. Like, what what do you think like is so awesome about Hokkaido? Cause, right. Hokkaido, I like Hokkaido because it's on little island. You know, it's like it's not even a small island. It's really, it's it's really even in the summertime. I love cycling around Hokkaido. I love I love looking around Hokkaido. Hokkaido people are very friendly. Um, food's excellent. If you're meat and potatoes guy, Hokkaido's your place. Oh yeah. You know, oh we're definitely. Talking about meat and potatoes. Oh meat and potatoes. Love it. You got steak and French fries. You're now. not kidding. Yeah, and I love potatoes <laughs> and corn. It's all up north. <laughs> if you if you're in for, if you're in for food and you're in for like you know large quantities. It is a very good food in a your place, especially if you like the soul food and meat and potatoes. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, I went up there to begin with because my girlfriend was from there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Days we have this menu. Yeah. Do you know the ham nachos? Nachos? Yeah, so if you like, you can choose fish and chips. Okay. Well, what's the matter with the menu? I'm not sure. 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 That's right. We're the ones who paid all this money to come to their culture. They speak their language here. Yeah, I know. Well, I just uh, this is you saw me at a classic. You saw the whole waitress type of thing that you know that when the waitress is, refuses to speak to you in, in in Japanese, even though you're speaking in Japanese. This is what I do. I say, "Sumas and Nihongo Hamas that are just up." And uh, you know, you saw me in action. If you want to do that, that's fine. If you, she spoke perfectly good English, I know, but you know, it's for me. It's just good manners. If I'm I'm the customer speaking the language. That I want to speak in, please. Don't just speak to me because I'm white. I could like it speak with English. But that's my philosophy. It's not for everybody, but if you're into it, that's what I do. No, I agree with that too. It's like uh, camera shifts towards Sam. Yes, hello, ladies. Yes. Uh, um, no, no, I totally agree with that. Well, I just think of it this way. It's like I. Even if it's like another foreigner, if they if I know like they're speaking Japanese, it's like come on, dude. I paid all this money to come to your culture to speak your language. Yeah. If like you want, I, it's like I'd understand maybe if I was in like a Starbucks or someplace where like they want like where they have maybe English speakers there, like in a like a business building that's like owned by a Western company. But it's like come on, dude. I paid all this money to come to your culture to speak your language. Like you can go that way too, especially if there there's like the Ikaiwa people that want to go out and practice their English on people outside. Side. Like you in a Kyushu. This guy stopped you and you're like, uh, sorry buddy, I'm speaking Nihongo or whatever. You remember that. Dude, yes, I, that was uh, a long time ago. I read a lot of stuff. Yes, Thank you, flashcards. Well, <laughs> 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 you know, I got I got my computer. I got like the flashcards, uh, my electric flashcards on one side and then I got your website on another so I can just scroll down in between the pauses. Okay. Uh, flashcards. So. Right. Yeah. I guess to conclude, it's just like, it's how you want to do it. I mean, if you want to be here as some sort of cultural representative speaking English, that's your business. But I live here, and I've, you know, I've lived here for more than 20 years now, I've studied Japanese for 25 at this point. It's like, look, you know, I speak Japanese, I'm a citizen, so kindly, if I'm speaking to you in Japanese, speak back to me in Japanese. If it's a customer-client relationship around the customer, you know, that's my that's my style. But, you know, that's, again, it's, uh, I did, I, you know, I didn't get angry about it, I just said, you know, nice, polite needle saying, you know, see if I can get in this that's enough. Let's go. Uh, so, uh, what is it? Let's ask some more people. So, like, um, I don't really, like, miss my hometown and the people so much, like, because I've always wanted to come here, you know? Yeah. Do you miss your hometown or anybody, like, any old friends from America or anybody like that? Like, well, there are some things I do miss about America, for example. I mean, I do miss a a good cheap pizza. Oh man, yes. <laughs> yes, ten dollars Pizza Hut Domino's, yeah. Yeah, and, yep, unfortunately there's a tip, but oh well. It's still <laughs> yeah. you know, half the price that it is in Japan or more, or even less than that. Um, yeah, I still miss certain things like uh yeah, I miss good tacos, I miss I miss good Mexican, you know, I, you know, or at least you know, American style Mexican if you will. If you go down to Yokosuka they have some really good ones. Came up in Hokkaido. Oh oh yeah, That's oh right. yeah. Oh yeah, uh, you see. Uh, I but could you, get, you've I been could, traveling recently, come on, man. I could if I went on to go to the Yokosuka or go to, you know, Taco Bell or whatever it is, or El Torito. But again, yeah. it's, it's, I can get almost every, every food that I want here just fine. Um, I do I get fish and chips at the, at the Irish pub, fine. But um, I think that, uh, 
You know, I don't really miss my hometown, to be honest with you. I mean, I miss, uh, there are some friends I miss, but I got email. Yeah. And remember the bad old days before email? Maybe you don't, but you know, it was very difficult to communicate with anybody. By phone, forget it. Yeah. By, by letters, forget it. By email, Skype, hey. Oh, yeah. I spent exactly. two hours with my oldest friend on the phone a couple of days ago. You know, I've known since I was five years old. Yeah. He's, you know, he works, he works with airplanes. I'm over here. We can talk once a year for a couple of hours. We're happy. We get enough. But, uh, this is the type of thing that um, you get away with now in the 21st century, right? Yeah. Ah, here, here comes the condiments. Right. Right. Well, like, uh, so, I mean, do you, so you keep in touch with all the old friends that you want to, at least, right? Like, it, so, what, what about, like, um, your parents? You said, like, in one part of that, like, you, you had kind of a falling out of your parents after yeah. you did the whole citizenship thing, because yeah. of... I, I don't know I, I read I like skip sorry I don't That's I'm okay. not a Dave encyclopedia but I do like his stuff so Thank but you. uh What's uh so like what's what's the deal? You still keep in touch with mom and pop? No, we don't talk. It's uh, this would have happened no matter where I lived. I think. I mean, if I lived in America, we just don't get along. You know, I don't consider them to be very nice people. And I don't think they consider me to be much of a son. So it happens in some families, not at all. It happened in mine. So I just I find them singularly uncooperative and um, nasty, and they, they probably find me just uh, impossible to deal with. So. Oh my. Well, what are you going to do in this sort of situation? They, we don't get, we don't see it eye. They had to like provide all the paperwork, though, like all your addresses and like photos and stuff. Like, yeah. Where, I mean, like they had to be cooperative to some degree for you to get all that paperwork, right? Yeah, they did. That was there was that, but um, at that point we were st we were still kind of talking, and it was something that I wanted. And my stepfather, her, naturalized into America. Yeah. So he'd have been a hypocrite if he didn't help me with yeah. my naturalization, right? Yeah. But you know. You know, basically doing the equivalent of diso disowning me because I gave up my American passport. I mean, I walked into it knowing that I would have to give up one or the other, choose one or the other, so I tried one on for size and found that the Japanese passport said to be better. Yeah. When I actually did give up the American, that's when they said, uh, you, not to quote my mother, you've broken my heart. Um, obviously, there's more to me than just a passport. You yeah. can see how just that would break your heart, but that's, well, yeah. I mean, like, if you think about it without the paperwork, it's like, I was already in this country for so long without having any kind of, like, th if, like you're thinking of this just, like, re world, no paperwork, it's like, I was already here for so long with, with, with just being here. You know I was going to be here for a while. My kids are here, my wife is here, my job is here. All I did was change some paperwork. That's all it is, really, just paperwork. It's like, what's the, what's the big deal, you know? That's my attitude as well, but yeah. they don't see it that way, unfortunately. Well, it's like, uh, well, like, you know, it's like uh, on the internet, don't hate haters, because, like, uh, all they do is hate. It's like, you're never going to change the perception of somebody who hates you, like, really. It's like, you can... So it's like, don't don't even bother. It's like, okay, go do your thing. I'll, I'll do mine. All right, so that's how adult society works. Uh, let's do a shrug. Okay, whatever. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Cool, man. What's, uh... God, I got... Uh, I'm happy to get these all, all down. Thank you, Mr. Camera. Yeah, yes. thank you, Mr. Camera. Okay, another Koizumi uh, hair puller one. What's a, so what's what what do you say is like your favorite J food? What can you eat like at any time when you're just like, man, I'm craving something. Yeah, sushi. I love sushi. What what kind of sushi We're do you talking like? Talking salmon. Yeah, I, I can eat hey. salmon every day. I love that stuff, dude. Upstate New York, you gotta have the lox and the you know the cream cheese, the bagels, mm -hmm. or yep, yep. Uh, what, what do you have a f special variation? I love salmon, uh, onions, and mayonnaise. I love I'm that. a Nixon roll fan. Nixon. You ever heard the Nixon roll? Well, it sounds my mom. It sounds like something like uh, my like my Jewish godparents would say, like uh, <laughs> in Brooklyn or something. Uh, the Nixon roll is cottage cheese, huh. eel, yeah, and uh, and cucumber wrapped up in a California rolls type of thing and cut in half. Oh man. Yeah, it's eel, cottage cheese, and, and cucumber. Now, why cottage cheese? Why Nixon? Because when Nixon first came to Japan, yeah. Nixon had a lot of dietary problems because he was such a nervous wreck all the time. Yeah. He, he lived off cottage cheese. And so they actually, the, the people that were actually going to serve him, tried to find a way that he would uh, he could give them something to eat. So they made a sushi out of cottage cheese. And they made something called the Nixon Roll. <laughs> I, I, I kid you uh, not. It's wonderful, though. 